I'm Andrew Cutler. I'm a psychiatrist and I've been doing research for over 25 years on a variety of conditions, especially ADHD. Certainly over the years we've made a lot of advancements with our medications and medications can be very effective for ADHD. The problem is the medicine's only working when you take it. And so if there are side effects or problems or the parent just says, look, I don't want to medicate my kid anymore. When you stop the medicine, unfortunately, the ADHD comes right back. So I've been very interested in other ways to help kids and families with ADHD. When I came upon the Think technology, I was very excited because I saw the potential here to really help kids. But what's special here about Think's technology is the headset. It's called a brain computer interface and it's literally measuring the brain waves through EEG technology and feeds forward to the game. The game is actually measuring where the attention and the focus is, and then the game adapts for the individual child and where their focus and attention is at. And then the game train these neural circuits so that each person has individualized treatment. It's not one size fits all, which unfortunately a lot of other technologies and softwares are. The kids are able to actually get feedback where they can see where their attention and their focus is, and it allows them to gain a sense of control and mastery, which is so important because kids with ADHD often feel overwhelmed and out of control. Think has actually shown with the Skylar's Run technology measurable improvements in academic performance, including reading fluency advancing by up to six months, math fluency advancing by up to eight months, and behavioral outcomes, things going better at home, parents feeling like they have their, their kids now as part of the family. We are training the brain and probably influencing neural circuits in the brain that control attention and behavior and impulsivity. And what's been demonstrated in clinical trials is after playing the game for 20 to 30 minutes a day for a period of time, there's an enduring effect of up to six months has been demonstrated clinically. There are some other therapeutic video games that have some data on attention, but ADHD is much more than just not paying attention. ADHD can be also hyperactivity, impulsivity, difficulty self-regulating. And what this technology has been shown to do is to improve that whole range of symptoms. So I'm particularly excited about that because to me, this could be a standalone treatment. It could be the first line, the first thing that I offer to someone. What's exciting about this game is to allow these kids to be able to unlock their potential, to do better in school, to get in trouble less, to feel more confident. And for parents who are seeing problems with their child with attention or behavior, whether it's ADHD or not, think should be your first option.